Hi, welcome back to Colf KRC. If you haven't already subscribed, please do hit that notification bell and hit that like button. Hi, welcome back to Colf KRC. So today I'm doing a quick overview of what I think of both of these after running them for a while. So obviously the Osmo Action and the Osmo Pocket. So I've had them for a bit of time now and they do similar things I'm guessing. The video footage looks fairly similar on both. Uh, this one's obviously got a three axis gimbal, this one's got stabilised, got rock steady. But if I was going today to buy one, I bought this first by the way. I think when I bought this, this wasn't out, this came out shortly after I bought this. I would probably now go for this. And for this reason, I've not used this anywhere near as much as I hoped I would. And the simple fact that from what I'm using it for, uh, I can't use it as a head cam. Well, you can put it on your head. I've got a bracket that mounts to my cap and I can put it on my head, but you never know if it's, the gimbal's going to um, be in the right position to actually hook it up to your phone and everything like that first. It's just a bit of a pain. With this one, it's very much point and shoot. It's got a wider angle than this. So when I have this on my hat, I know what position it needs to be in, and it's going to record, and it's going to record nicely because of the rock steady. The other thing about it is, of course, I now fix this to... Drone, so I have this on the front of my Nazgul 5, bear with me. So I run this on my Nazgul, so it simply just slots into the front of my Nazgul. And then I can fly around with it, so. And I can obviously use the Rocksteady function on this. So, for me, this one would be the winner. So. What I love about this though is I've, I made a video a bit ago of some bike race that came past where I live and the video to me just looks outstanding. It really does look, apart from the fact that YouTube did a thing to it and when it does stutter a little bit on YouTube I can assure you it doesn't on the original video. So if you're looking at buying these now, obviously the we've now got the Hero 8 that's, 8 that's come out. The Hero 7 to this I don't think there's that much difference, I think they're pretty much just if you bought one, you'd be happy with it. If you bought the other, you'd be happy with that. The eight, um, I've seen some videos on, and at the minute, I'm not over enthusiastic about it. At the minute, to be honest, it's not something I wanted to leap into and buy at the minute. But I think this is a great camera. I also think this is a great camera. So, if you want, to, if you're looking at buying one today, I definitely recommend you go for the action cam because, all right, it's not going to be actually gimbal, and it's not as steady as this. But you can use this far in far more places than you can use this. Now, I don't just mean for putting on drones. I mean, this is just easier. This is very much point and shoot with this. You really do need to connect something up to it because the screen is tiny on it. So the screen, uh, you can see here the screen. Let's say focus. I hope it does focus in. If I can make it manually focus in. There you go. So you can see the screen's very small on it. I can use the screen but it's still too small and for using it for the stuff i find it difficult to cut with this one you've got quite a nice screen on the back of this thing but as you can see look at the field of view it's getting both roughly in the same place you can see the field of view is massively different on this to this and that to me makes a massive difference i've got the wide angle lens i've got a couple of them for this and they make a difference with the newer one that's just come out. You do make a difference and it does look a lot better. But I still prefer this. DJI probably will make another action cam. I wouldn't be surprised if they do break something now because the GoPro 8's come out. Um, and I think that... I don't, I, do I think they're a winner? Yeah, I think they are, but I think... If you've got a GoPro 7, you certainly won't want to buy one of these. I don't think it's no better than the GoPro. I've seen some videos of people saying it is, and I don't think it's better than the GoPro 7. I think it's a great camera, don't get me wrong, but you certainly won't want to rush out and buy one if you own the GoPro. And vice versa, I don't think people have got this are going to buy a GoPro 7. But this is something different. I'd much prefer this still to anything like that you put your camera into. So we've got the Osmo, I don't know, the Osmo Mobile 3. It doesn't appeal to me at all. Putting my phone into something like that, it's still big and it, it's not big, it falls down, but it's still not as small as this thing. This thing's tiny. And the video footage you get out of it is fantastic. So it's really just a quick video to compare both and tell you what my thoughts are. 
The thing that annoys me on both of them is you've got to buy something to plug in to get the mic out external microphone to work. However, the external microphone I believe is better on this than this. I prefer the microphone on this to the one on this. And if I made, um, I have done some videos with this and you'll, you probably haven't even noticed that I was using the external mic on this. But it's annoying that you have to buy a proprietary thing, but you've got the same issue with GoPro. I just think it's really annoying why they can't put a, a microphone jack onto either one of these. It would have been so much nicer for them to do, but they always want to make money, of course, and cash in that little bit more. And DJI being DJI, they're going to cash in. Accessory-wise, you can get a lot of accessories for either of them. What I would say now is I've seen these going for as 250 new on certain places the other day and this is going for around the same money so they are now coming down in price and at 250 quid I think they're a decent camera a very nice camera so yeah the idea of this video is just to show you both in case you've not seen both and just for my opinion on which I think they're better so I prefer this one but if you've got this I don't think you can go too far wrong certainly if you're into sticking something on your drone I think this is brilliant I think it's fantastic I don't film in 4k with it put it into 2.7 60 frames a second and it's fantastic I think in 4k I don't think it's as good it's good in 4k on other stuff but when you stick it on a drone and you're flying fast I think the image is far better in 2.7k I have tried to attach this to a drone and I can't really find a way of doing it that doesn't cause it to vibrate like hell and also get the mount right whereas this has obviously got rock steady in it it's designed for that type of thing so I want you to tell me in the comments what you think to these if you own them tell me what you think or do you own, if you own a Hero 7 let me know what you think and how good it is if you bought the Hero 8 I'd certainly like to hear from you to let me know how good that is because I've seen some reviewers and reviewers reviewing them out the same as people telling me about I'd rather people tell me how good they are rather than watch a review reviews can sometimes be a bit biased as we know but also on a review I think it's no real world experience they probably used it for an hour two hours three hours but someone that's had it for a few weeks I'd like to know so thanks ever so much for watching have a fantastic thanks for watching my channel if you like the video please subscribe and hit the like button and also hit that notification bell there's plenty more good stuff coming up